Hey guys, it's Rob with Aquatic Aesthetics. We are back with another outstanding unboxing. We're starting out with our Australian Red Claw Crayfish, because there's a reason for that. Maybe I just have some. We'll get to those later. So I'm gonna do this a little bit old style. Some of these guys are just, I can't get them all together in one cup, and some of them are jumpers, particularly the rope fish. All right, so first up, we have vampire shrimp. These guys are filter feeders, kind of like a bamboo. Um, not near as pretty. All right, we'll move on. Looks like we've got several more of those. Now we have the rope fish. Good size on him. Looking active, very healthy. Something else you normally would don't see. These are shark tooth, freshwater clams. Just like any clams, guys, your muscles don't release them. If they can't survive in your tank, don't keep them. All right, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, these guys are looking real active. What do we got here? Ah, uh, Veltel Cherry Barbs. It's like a mix of males and females in there. Beautiful tails on them. We have some Florida Raised Neon Tetris. I think we all know what those guys are. We have some more Vampire Shrimp. We'll go ahead and get them moved. I think I ended up getting a half dozen of those guys. And what we got here? We got the L103 Clown Placo. About three and a half inch max on these guys. And you guys know the rules. They, they just never, Placos never cooperate for the bag shot. All right, we've got some glass catfish. I think they're in there. I see something. Yeah, there we go. Camera just doesn't even want to focus on them. We have some shrimp. A big orange blob of orange sunkissed shrimp. Neocaridinas. We have some thread fin rainbows. These are special order. Looks like a male and two females. Good little mix there. Don't always get that lucky. We have blue velvet shrimp. Looking real good. And we have some neon. These are wild green neons. Um, practically the size of fry right now. It happens. And speaking of fry, we have some more. Oh, okay, no, these aren't fry. These are adults. These are chili rasboras. Of course, they're not going to show us any color in the bag. And then we've got some algae eating Amano shrimp. Now, that's the end of this cooler. That's not the end of this unboxing, guys, because it gets a little interesting starting here. So, 
Let's go ahead and do the bettas first. We'll get them out of the way. So I got two sunshine bettas that came in. Oh, where's the other one? There he is. The red, we all know the red, that's a crown tail. He just came in today and he does not want to focus. There we go. Another crown tail. And let's see what else we got. We've got a Hellboy placat. And then we have this one right here, Twin Tail. That's what that one was. Okay, we'll move on over here. Uh, okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and bring these guys up. Okay, uh, you know, give me the bag they were in because I can never pronounce their name right. So, these guys are a gudgeon, um, related to the peacock gudgeon. They are the Purple Spot Margunda, M-U-G-U-R-N-D-A. So, a Purple Spot Margunda Gobi. Now, guys, these get upwards of about five and a half inches in the wild, probably a little bit smaller in your tank. Um... And they are not aggressive in the slightest from one in my reading. But they are very, very rare and will probably go pretty quick. So if you want one of these guys or a few of them, you'll have to give me a call. As far as sexing them, I'm assuming very similar to the uh, peacock gudgeons. And you should be able to tell by the uh, nose. But we'll see on that. But just a beautiful fish. And these guys just came out of the bag and already starting to show a little color. So just you wait. Okay. And now the big one of the day. So this guy's is Clamps Junior. So I've got six of these guys in. These are Australian Red Claw Crayfish. Many of you guys are familiar with clamps over here. Let's get a good profile shot of her. Um, so this is what that will grow into. Females typically about, oh, eight to 10 inches, males anywhere uh, 11 to 14 inches so these are a big crayfish and they're going to need a big tank eventually this guy or this girl right here is probably right at a year old we got her about 10 months ago and she was about oh about this size so guys if this is one that interests you definitely call me all right, guys, well, we're going to get these guys packed up and get this up on video for you. Until then, I'll see you at the store.